Philip Eduard Anton von Leonard, the 7th of June 1862 to the 20th of May 1947, was a German physicist and the winner of the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1905 for his research on cathode rays and the discovery of many of their properties. Leonard was a nationalist and anti-Semite. As an active proponent of the Nazi ideology, he supported Adolf Hitler in the 1920s and was an important role model for the Deutsche Physik movement during the Nazi period. Notably, he labeled Albert Einstein's contributions to science as Jewish physics. Topic: <laughs> Early life and work. Philip Leonard was born in Pressburg, today's Bratislava, on the 7th of June 1862. The Leonard family had originally come from Tyrol in the 17th century, and Leonard's parents were German speakers, Carpathian Germans. His father, Philip von Lenardis (1812–1896), was a wine merchant in Pressburg. His mother was Antoni Bowman (1831–1865). The young Leonard studied at the Posanyi Karalyi Katolikus Fagymnasium (today Gamka), and as he writes it in his autobiography, this made a big impression on him, especially the personality of his teacher, Virgil Klatt. In 1880, he studied physics and chemistry in Vienna and in Budapest. In 1882, Leonard left Budapest and returned to Pressburg, but in 1883, he moved to Heidelberg after his tender for an assistant's position in the University of Budapest was refused. In Heidelberg, he studied under the illustrious Robert Bunsen, interrupted by one semester in Berlin with Hermann von Helmholtz, and he obtained a doctoral degree in 1886. In 1887 he worked again in Budapest under Laurent Iotvos as a demonstrator. After posts at Aachen, Bonn, Breslau, Heidelberg (1896–1898), and Kiel (1898–1907), he returned finally to the University of Heidelberg in 1907 as the head of the Philip Leonard Institute. In 1905, Leonard became a member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences, and in 1907, of the Hungarian Academy of Sciences. His early work included studies of phosphorescence and luminescence and the conductivity of flames. Topic. Contributions to physics Topic. Photoelectric investigations As a physicist, Leonard's major contributions were in the study of cathode rays, which he began in 1888. Prior to his work, cathode rays were produced in primitive, partially evacuated glass tubes that had metallic electrodes in them, across which a high voltage could be placed. Cathode rays were difficult to study using this arrangement, because they were inside sealed glass tubes, difficult to access, and because the rays were in the presence of air molecules. Leonard overcame these problems by devising a method of making small metallic windows in the glass that were thick enough to be able to withstand the pressure differences, but thin enough to allow passage of the rays. Having made a window for the rays, he could pass them out into the laboratory, or, alternatively, into another chamber that was completely evacuated. These windows have come to be known as Leonard windows. He was able to conveniently detect the rays and measure their intensity by means of paper sheets coated with phosphorescent materials. Leonard observed that the absorption of cathode rays was, to first order, proportional to the density of the material they were made to pass through. This appeared to contradict the idea that they were some sort of electromagnetic radiation. He also showed that the rays could pass through some inches of air of a normal density, and appeared to be scattered by it, implying that they must be particles that were even smaller than the molecules in air. He confirmed some of J.J. Thomson's work, which eventually arrived at the understanding that cathode rays were streams of negatively charged energetic particles. He called them quanta of electricity or for short quanta, after Helmholtz, while J.J. Thomson proposed the name corpuscles, but eventually electrons became the everyday term. In conjunction with his and other earlier experiments on the absorption of the rays in metals, the general realization that electrons were constituent parts of the atom enabled Leonard to claim correctly that for the most part atoms consist of empty space. He proposed that every atom consists of empty space and electrically neutral corpuscules called dynamids, each consisting of an electron and an equal positive charge. As a result of his Crookes tube investigations, he showed that the rays produced by irradiating metals in a vacuum with ultraviolet light were similar in many respects to cathode rays. 
His most important observations were that the energy of the rays was independent of the light intensity, but was greater for shorter wavelengths of light. These latter observations were explained by Albert Einstein as a quantum effect. This theory predicted that the plot of the cathode ray energy versus the frequency would be a straight line with a slope equal to Planck's constant, h. This was shown to be the case some years later. The photoelectric quantum theory was the work cited when Einstein was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics. Suspicious of the general adulation of Einstein, Leonard became a prominent skeptic of relativity and of Einstein's theories generally. He did not, however, dispute Einstein's explanation of the photoelectric effect. Leonard received the 1905 Nobel Prize for Physics in recognition of this work. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Meteorological contributions. Leonard was the first person to study what has been termed the Leonard effect in 1892. This is the separation of electric charges accompanying the aerodynamic breakup of water drops. It is also known as spray electrification or the waterfall effect. He conducted studies on the size and shape distributions of raindrops and constructed a novel wind tunnel in which water droplets of various sizes could be held stationary for a few seconds. He was the first to recognize that large raindrops are not tear-shaped, but are rather shaped something like a hamburger bun. Deutsche Physik Leonard is remembered today as a strong German nationalist who despised English physics, which he considered to have stolen its ideas from Germany. He joined the National Socialist Party before it became politically necessary or popular to do so. During the Nazi regime, he was the outspoken proponent of the idea that Germany should rely on Deutsche Physik and ignore what he considered the fallacious and deliberately misleading ideas of Jewish physics, by which he meant chiefly the theories of Albert Einstein, including the Jewish fraud of relativity see also criticism of the theory of relativity. An advisor to Adolf Hitler, Leonard became chief of Aryan physics under the Nazis. Some measure of Leonard's views on certain scientists may be deduced through examination of Leonard's book, Great Men in Science, A History of Scientific Progress, first published in 1933. The book was translated into English by Dr. H. Stafford Hatfield with an introduction by the famous scientist Edward Andrade of University College London ironically, a Sephardic Jew himself and was widely read in schools and universities after the Second World War. The individual scientists selected for inclusion by Leonard do not include Einstein or Curie, nor any other 20th-century scientist. Andrade noted that a strong individuality like that of the writer of this book is bound to assert strongly individual judgments." The publisher included what now appears to be an equally remarkable note on page XIX of the 1954 English edition. While Professor Leonard's studies of the men of science who preceded him showed not only profound knowledge but also admirable balance, when it came to men of his own time he was apt to let his own strong views on contemporary matters sway his judgment. In his lifetime he would not consent to certain modifications that were proposed in the last study of the series. <laughs> Later life Leonard retired from Heidelberg University as professor of theoretical physics in 1931. He achieved emeritus status there, but he was expelled from his post by Allied occupation forces in 1945 when he was 83. He died in 1947 in Messelhausen, Germany. Honours and awards Royal Society, Rumford Medal, 1896 Italian Society of Sciences, Matucci Medal, 1896 French Academy of Sciences, Prix Lacaze, 1897 Franklin Institute, Franklin Medal, 1932 Nobel Prize for Physics, 1905 A crater near the North Pole of the Moon was named in his honor in 2008. <laughs> Cultural references Leonard's criticism of the theory of relativity and his crusade against Einstein and his theories was covered in an episode of Dark Matters, Twisted But True, in a segment entitled, Einstein's Revenge.
The life of Leonard and the interrelationship between his work and that of Albert Einstein is the subject of the book The Man Who Stalked Einstein, How Nazi Scientist Philip Leonard Changed the Course of History by Bruce J. Hillman, Birgit Ertel Wagner and Bernd C. Wagner. Leonard was portrayed by actor Michael McKelleton in the 2017 National Geographic Anthology period drama television series Genius. Bibliography <inaudible> 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 Leonard, Philip. 1906. Über Kathodenstrahlen on cathode rays in German. Leonard, Philip. Über Ether und Matter on Ether and Matter in German. Leonard, Philip. 1914. Probleme komplexer Molekule Problems of complex molecules in German. Leonard, Philip. 1918. Quantitatives über Kathodenstrahlen in German. Leonard, Philip. 1918. Über das Relativitätsprinzip on the principle of relativity in German. Leonard, Philip. 1921. Ether und Urether in German. Leonard, Philip. 1930. Gross Natterforscher in German. Leonard, Philip. 1931 in German. Erinnerungen eines Natterforschers. New edition. Erinnerungen eines Natterforschers. Kritisch Annotierte Ausgabe des Originaltyposkriptes von 1931-1843. Arn Schirmacher, ed. Springer Verlag, Heidelberg, 2010, 344 pages. ISBN 9783540890478. EISBN 9783540890485. Leonard, Philip, 1933. Great Men of Science. London, G. Bell and Sons. OCLC 1156317. Leonard, Philip. Deutsche Physik in Wir Banden. In German. J. F. Lehmann. OCLC 13814543. Notes References Bayerchen, Alan. 1977. Scientists under Hitler, Politics and the Physics Community in the Third Reich. New Haven, Connecticut, Yale University Press. ISBN 978-0300018301. Cornwell, John. 2003. Hitler's Scientists, Science, War and the Devil's Pact. Penguin Books. ISBN 978-0142004807. Henschel, Klaus, ed. 1996. Physics and National Socialism, an Anthology of Primary Sources. Basel, Berkhauser. ISBN 978-3764353124. Walker, Mark. 1995. Nazi Science, Myth, Truth, and the German Atomic Bomb. New York, HarperCollins. ISBN 978-0306449413. Wolf, Stefan L. 2003. Physicists in the Krieg der Geister, Wilhelm Wien's Proclamation. Historical Studies in the Physical and Biological Sciences. 33 337-368. doi.10.1525, hsps.2003, 33.2.337. Topic. External links Nobel Foundation Biography On Cathode Rays The Cathode Ray Tube Site Philip Leonard at the Mathematics Genealogy Project Newspaper clippings about Philip Leonard in the 20th Century Press Archives of the German National Library of Economics ZBW.